instead of doing our tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube, we are going to do a cube comparison. We have three different cubes here. They are all at different prices. Well, these two are about the same prices, but this one's a lot more expensive. So, before we start, uh, you should uh, first look at your budget. So, if you, if you can only spend about $10, then look for these two. If you can spend a little more, I suggest you try to look at this one. This one's about $20, right? Yep, plus shipping and tax. Same for these two. It's about $8, and then shipping and tax for them. That's a little more. So, first we'll start with speed. So, this one, it's pretty fast. Well, what do you think you would rate it? Well, for the price, I would actually rate it a 8 because it's pretty expensive. But if you weren't looking at price, what do you think it would be? Um, nine and a half or ten. Ten, okay. So, if I wasn't up looking at price, it would be actually be like nine, but yeah. Personally, I would say it's about nine. There are other cubes a little faster than it. So, next we'll go to this cube. We actually lubed it with Cosmic Lube, Martian, and so it's a little faster than normal. And we also broke it in, so it's usually it's faster than normal. I'd give it. What would you give it? Um, if I was not looking at price, it's pretty good. If you can see, you can't really see, but I'm kind of turning it. So for just the speed of it, I would give it a seven. Okay. And finally, for this cube, we'll tell you these names of the cubes at the end of the video so you guys can buy it yourself so this cube it's actually about the same price point as this one so we can actually compare i personally like the speed of this one better it's smoother easier to turn i also like the colors better but we'll get onto that later yeah it's not that important about it now we're gonna test stability so uh this one is a gts2 m so it's magnetic so it obviously has a Probably pretty good stability. So, see, look, there's barely any overturning. So, um, I give this stability eight and a half. For the uh, non-magnetic version, I would give it about six and a half. It's very unstable without magnets. For this one, uh, as you. It was lube, so it may be a little faster or more stable. This one didn't make it that as much stable, so it wouldn't really matter about the lube. But this cube, uh, pretty stable. Like after you use it sometime and break it in, it becomes too loose and it catches a lot. But for now, I give it about a seven. And finally, this cube. This cube is pretty stable. It has this soft turning speed. It's not too fast and it's stable. So that's why this cube would get an 8. So uh, this cube is the most stable one but it has magnets. So if you can't get the magnetic version then I suggest for stability you should get this. So next we'll talk about colors, appearance, all of that stuff. So I personally like the light colored ones without stickers because I don't know I just like them so this is my preference for colors but it doesn't really matter that much yeah I personally like a black outline on my cube but these are all stickerless so yeah and uh, one more thing some cubes have stickers on them like instead of um, already painted and I hate those because the stickers peel off yeah those are not good so okay so uh, there's one more thing about this that like it's really unusual compared to other cubes the this cube like you need to use it a long time before it actually comes good unlike other cubes that sometimes become really good out of the box so this cube uh, if you want to get it 
you have to be you have to know that you have to lube it, tension it sometimes, and you have to break it in. Okay, so if you guys want a Rubik's cube, you should probably have parents' permission. Yeah. So, uh, it depends on your price point. If you are looking for an eight to nine dollar cube, my preference would be this. It's an MF three RS two. You guys can write it down. <laughs> yeah, because it's kind of hard. He memorized all of them. Okay, so one more thing. When you get a cube, it may not look like this. It may not be as good. That's because it improves over time. It's called breaking it in. Yeah, sometimes it becomes worse as breaking it in, but usually it becomes better. This cube is a Diane Zanchi. Zanchi is spelled Z-H-A-N-C-H-I. And this cube, uh, it's unusual. You need to use it a lot. I personally don't recommend this unless you're sure you can really break it in and lube it and tension it. And if you want to lube and tension a cube, don't. I suggest you don't go for a cheaper one. If you can, ha if you have access to lube and tensioning tools, okay. then get a better cube. Okay, so one more tip. Make sure you research on your cube. Because before we got this one, I got a different cube, and I just got it. And it was a horrible cube. It broke on the first day I got it. So make sure you research and listen to videos like this one to find your good cube. Yep. There, the cube was called a magic cube. Uh, so it was really loose, and it, it catches a lot. So even if you were to get it, it's pretty bad. It literally broke into a million pieces, so no, do not suggest and it. And the screw went out. The only way to fix that is to get a new screwdriver, a special one, to uh, screw in your uh, screw. <laughs> and those screwdrivers actually cost more than another Rubik's Cube, so we preferred a new one. Yep. Which is this one. So, now to the final cube. This cube is much more costly. Uh, if you already have a basic speed cube, and you want to get more advanced, then you should get this one. Uh, I got it at about uh, a sub-30 uh, single, and about a 40 average, so yeah. So this Q, it's a lot smoother than the others, if you cannot tell. You don't have to make a big deal when you're turning it. And it's a lot easier for double turns, too. It's pretty effortless to turn it. And, yeah, there's not too much difference between these two cubes. It's just that this outperforms this barely in both, in, like, all the uh, comparisons. And when we say stickerless cubes, we mean, like, the sticker on top, which you can just peel off, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, stickerless can be the sticker, or it can mean stickerless with no black outline. Like, you would call it black if there's a black outline. Okay. So, which one do we suggest? I suggest, I don't know. It depends at your I price suggest. point, but I suggest this one. This because cube? it's cheap, but it's good. Yeah. There's also a cube called the Yushin Little Magic, which performs kind of like this, too. It's faster, and it doesn't have a smooth feeling. Instead, it has a papery feeling. This has a smooth feeling. Uh, so, yeah. We're also going to lube this with Cosmic Lube. So, we're going to probably make another video on that soon. Okay, so one more thing. For beginners, we probably prefer this one because it's easy to turn. And you won't get stuck. Getting stuck is really annoying when you're a beginner. But only because you get mixed up and you don't know what move to do. Yeah. So, don't do this one first. Because it gets stuck sometimes and you get confused. Yeah. So... Uh, in another video, we can also tell you what cubes not to buy. So, uh, we don't have all those cubes, but we'll explain it to you. So, yeah. Anyways, we're done with this episode. So, goodbye.